Hi guys, it's Miss Jen. Are you ready to do some singing? Get up on your feet, let's sing some songs. Ready, set, go!
I'm Mr. Tom. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Do you know what holiday is coming around the corner? You're right, it's Christmas. Boy, I love this time of year. The snow and the presents and the treats. <laughs> Mail truck, let's go see what we got. I hope it's treats. What is this? You're right. It's a present. It's not Christmas yet, but I want to open it. I'm gonna. Oh, look. There's a note on it. It says, the best thing about Christmas is Jesus. Wow. That's true. We need to remember that. Let's see what's inside our box. makes a lot of noise. Oh. An angel! How cool! I wonder how this is gonna fit into our story. Well, let's listen and find out. This is Mary. Mary was a beautiful young woman. She lived in a town called Nazareth. Mary was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. One day, a tall and handsome man appeared in front of Mary. Mary stepped backwards. She was scared. His clothes were shiny, brilliant white, and his eyes sparkled like lights. Mary knew this man must be an angel. The angel said, Hello, Mary. God is with you. Don't be afraid. God sent me to tell you that you're going to have a son who you'll name Jesus. He's going to be very important to many people. A son? I'm not yet married. How is this going to happen? The angel said, The Holy Spirit will come to you. Your son will be the Son of God. Mary thought all about these things. It didn't seem possible. But she believed anything was possible for God. And she said, I am God's servant. I'll do whatever God says. Mary's mind was racing. She wondered what Joseph would think. Would he believe her? Mary was feeling very nervous. When Mary told Joseph about the angel and about being the mom of God's son, he did exactly what she was afraid he would do. He didn't believe her. He didn't think he wanted to marry her anymore. Mary felt so sad, but she remembered what the angel said and she trusted God. The next day, something wonderful happened. Joseph came to her and said, An angel came to me in a dream. And the angel said, Joseph, don't be afraid to make Mary your wife. She's going to have a son, and you're going to name him Jesus. He's going to save people from all their sins. And Joseph said, I understand now, and I trust God too. I will be with you and we will name our baby Jesus. Wow, that's amazing. Could you imagine if an angel visited you? But Mary and Joseph obeyed God and they named their baby Jesus. Do you know who would love to hear this story? You're right. Our silly monkey friend Cecil. I'll get on my computer and we'll have a video chat with him.
Cecil, are you there? Help! Hey, Cecil, it's great to see you. It's getting to be that time of year again, and we're learning about the Christmas story. Oh, I love this time of year! Me too. Today, we learned about when Mary and Joseph learned that they were going to be the parents of Jesus. That story makes me feel so happy. It is always exciting to think of new babies, especially baby Jesus. Mary and Joseph were so lucky to be chosen as Jesus' parents. You're right. Mary and Joseph were surprised when the angel spoke to them, but they trusted God would surprise me a bit too. And they were ready to welcome baby Jesus into the world. They knew that he was going to be important and that he would be the best present anyone could ever get. You're right. And we know it's true because it tells us so in the Bible. You're right. Thank you for sharing the story today. You're welcome. We'll check in with you next week because the story gets even better. Yippee! Have a great week, Cecil. Thanks! I'm going to go work on some more Christmas decorations. Let's say goodbye to Cecil. Bye! Merry Christmas! It was fun seeing Cecil again and telling me about the Christmas story. Boy, I sure do love learning with him. Well, and with you, now we have a new Bible verse. It's Luke 2.11. The Savior has been born today in Bethlehem. I'll show you the motions. We'll get our Bibles out. Luke 2.11. The Savior was born today in Bethlehem. Let's say it again. Get your Bible out. Luke 2.11. The Savior has been born today in Bethlehem. Now how can we say it fun? Hmm. Remember in the story it said that Mary's mind was racing? How about if we say it really fast? Can you say it fast? Get ready. Get your Bible out. Luke 2, 11. Maybe that was too fast. Let's try again. Luke 2, 11. Say it was word today, better. That was fast. Hold on. It looks like Cecil sent us a message. It says... I was so excited about the angels in the Bible story today. I made a halo so I could dress up like an angel. Doesn't he look great? Let's say a prayer before we go. Do you remember how we get it started? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, fold them in your lap. Now I'll say a part, and then you say it. Ready? Dear God, thank you for loving us and sending us the best Christmas present, Jesus. Help us remember that presents are nice, but the best thing about Christmas is Jesus. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, don't forget that the best thing about Christmas is Jesus. You can share that with your family. Don't forget to come back next week because we've got more of the story to tell you. Have a great week. Bye.